Hi, Egil Thorson here, and I'm going to tell you a story from Switzerland. Land of chocolate, a land of cuckoo clocks and watches. This story goes a long way back. Now, how many times have we heard that the magpie is an unlucky bird? It's unfair. Maybe it's because it's the severe white and black. Well, it's actually blue, but black and white. Badgers suffer the same thing and they're persecuted as well. I like magpies. I think they're really beautiful birds. I like badgers as well. And I think it's probably a hangover from pre-Christian times when they were looked on as good luck birds. I mean, even today, people salute the magpie you know, morning mr magpie regards to mrs magpie happy hunting and various other things it's a tradition to bring you good luck so it is in the forests of switzerland there was a finn and his name was yug things weren't going well for yug his animals were ill his crops were failing his house was falling apart no money was coming in what can I do? Well, he sat and scratched his head. I know. The shaman, way over in the forests. I'll go and see him. A lap man, a lapland. So he put on his backpack, trusty stuff, and trudged through the forests. Now, travelling through a forest isn't like today. There's wolves, there's bears, even domestic cat. Their ancestors, the wild cat, are fierce. But he travelled on, took out a crust of bread. He's a nice man, left some crumbs for the animals. He left a bit of meat on the bones so that other animals could eat it, and on away he went. And eventually, after crossing many rivers, climbing many hills, he came to a clearing in the, in the forest, and there was the hut of the shaman. Come in. He came in. Ah, what can I do for you, young yog? Uh, do you know my name? It's what I do. Uh, look, I've got problems on the farm. The animals are sick. The crops are not working. And nothing, nothing's coming in. And I've got a family to feed. Although I must admit, just as I left, things were looking up. I know, he said I was there. Well, is your wife tried to intimidate me by throwing a key at me. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. And Yug gave gifts of bread, cheese, honey, anything he could, and a few silver pennies. Thank you, said the shaman. I was grateful for it. You'll be all right now. Your farm and all your futures are assured. In peace. So Yug went back and eventually came to the farm. Took off his pack, put the stick in the corner, warmed himself by the fire. Saw the shaman and things are certainly looking better. He says, Yes, yes. He says you threw a key at him. What? There was a magpie on the roof of the barn, which I thought might be bad luck, so I tried to scare it away by throwing a key at it. And then, oh, so that was the shaman. Yeah. So in future, let's be nice to magpies. They were, and they prospered greatly to the end of their days. Yeah, that strikes me as a story that be nice to magpies. And I don't see why people have to be a obnoxious towards them but even today there is a bias for it so next time you see a magpie regards to mr and mrs magpie there are store there's also ancient rhymes one for sorrow two for joy three for a girl four for a boy five for silver six for gold seven for a secret never to be told and this must have some origin as do many of these sort of familiar i don't know how do you describe that sayings anyway i hope you've enjoyed it please leave us a comment we're always happy to see that 
Should you want to be a subscriber where all things wonderful happen, press the bar and the subscription bell and all will be revealed to you. We rely on you. It's your channel as well as ours. So, till we meet again, have a good time and I'll catch you later. Bye.